Hello. Welcome back to the LP, and it looks like we're starting off some kicking music, I can tell you that. Oh, wow. Oh, by the way, I found out the name of the midget dude in, um, in the last part, the last boss. His name is apparently Jack, so it's Jack and the super buff Gregory kickboxer. And, well, the gimmick of the stage is fire, uh, <laughs> Flamethrowers, to be exact, sorry. Um, those things on. Ah, actually, I think those appear somewhere else. Um, and yeah, cool stuff. I don't know what, what game this, this music was used, but this is one of my favorite Ninja Gaiden songs there is. It's just so kick butt. Just listen! It's just so awesome. Do, 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 do. Also, there's these platforms. You have to wait your time and such. It's better to do so. I'm bobbing my head to the music right now. Don't, don't mind me. Oh, yeah. Anywho. Oh, yeah, this is a really cool, memorable scene. The hook. Why is it here? No particular reason, just to look cool. <laughs> which it does, which it does. That's why it's there. Do, 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 do. Oh, since so I have nothing to say, let's have some trivia! Um, apparently in Europe, this game was called Shadow Warriors, and in Japan, it was called Ninja Raikuten GB Matrin Kisin. Also, Translated in English as Legend of the Ninja Dragon Sword Game Boy Skyscraper Showdown. Jesus, that's a long title. I swear those Japanese and their titles. Jeez. Anywho, Cross and Death. I don't know if those spikes kill you in one hit. I haven't tried out, but as far as I know, Ryu Hayabusa isn't Mega Man, so yeah, just just don't fall in them. I mean, I honestly haven't. Also. Interesting part. That's the extra man right there, and these are crushing spikes of doom. <laughs> One hit kill, so keep on running. And that potion gives you full health, so just in case you need it. A holy crap, a gun and a sword fight. This is not gonna be fun. Well, anyway, your strategy best to get go against this guy, hang on the ceiling, and then he aims up. That's when you want to come down and slash him to death. Quite simple, quite easy, quite fun. And this guy is, let me see, who's this guy? Former military commander Colonel Allen. So he is former. Ooh. That means he's a traitor. That means we must kill him. We're trading, traitoring the, na the nation of the USA. Yes, this game takes place in the USA, apparently. And of course, Ryu Hayabusa, I don't know if he's... I don't think he's from the... Eh, I think he might be. Who knows? He might be from the USA, I'm not sure. Mm, quite simple. Also, he shoots down if you're down near him, so... Get back up once he does. But, yeah, he's a pretty simple guy. Notice the attention of details showing his bullet shells. Jeez, man. Of course, he has this little colonel skirt. Ah, <laughs> uh, but yeah, he's pretty easy. And I wasted my fire wheel. Yeah, the fire wheel only does um, one unit of attack against bosses, so it's pretty useless. And oh yeah, we slaughtered Mr. Colonel Allen. Also fun. And in this cutscene, we're gonna cut him to a million pieces. Oh yeah. I swear, you like slicing him up ten times. Horizontally. Man, Ryu is so cool! I just wanna grow up and be like him! Okay, this level is actually one of the harder ones. Hardest ones in the game, actually. Might be harder than the last level. It has these ninjas who are oh so irritating. They hang on the ceiling, and then 
throw ninja stars at you and they throw one ninja star beforehand. I like to use my fire ability in this part, and I wish I didn't waste that one fire ability um, during that previous boss battle. Oh, it stinks so bad. Like I said, the music in this game is so awesome! Sorry, how many times I've said that? That's about the fifth. Oh yeah, this part is another Game of the Key part where these... Where are these? Come in. Lasers! Coming to kill you! Now you have to be on a certain platform to avoid these. Under or above platforms. If they're on the ground, you want to be above the platforms. If you want to, if you, if they're on the top, get uh, below. <laughs> because those laser beams kill you in six hits. <laughs> no, they're not instant kill, so don't worry about them too much. But it sort of helps if you avoid them, you know. And stupid ninjas. Apparently, shoving ninjas at you is a good counter defense. Oh crap, we're stuck. Oh well, end game, folks. Sorry. See you later. Oh what? Yay! Yeah, that wasn't a good uh, <laughs> trickery right there. That was actually pretty lame. Also, the 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 potions covered around with black. That heals about two squares of your health, so that's always awesome. This part, you want to move through the area as quick as you can, and you'll see why in a few seconds, but just trust me, you do. Those machines right there, they don't actually hurt you, but they stun you. You'll see this. Watch. It stuns you. It's like a taser on a wall. <laughs> sort of weird, but cool. And yeah, move through this area as fast as you can because there is a uh, particular reason uh, I might tell you once you see it. But it's pretty slow. It's lava, and the, <laughs> that's pretty much why it's instant kill. And oh my God, parachute pants! <laughs> awesome. Anywho, this guy he is the. Japanese nobleman Fukuzia. <laughs> I probably pronounced that wrong, as I do with all my Japanese words. Apparently, he comes down with his fan and does this rolling. His fan does this rolling motion. Basically, what you do is you want to crouch down and slice him a bit so the fan goes under you, and then jump over the fan once it comes back. In his other attack, he throws these little um, ninja stars. <laughs> Sorry, I can't think of the proper name for these. Those thing are bobbers, so let's call them ninja stars. They're pretty easy to avoid. So yeah, cool stuff. Slice, 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 slice. See, what you want to do is you want to pop the a hole in those parachute pants so we won't be able to fly and explode. <laughs> oh man. When did the Japanese like their parachute pants? I'll never know. <laughs> Seriously, check those pants out. They're so cool. And yeah, he kicked my butt because I wasn't doing so well that day. I didn't eat my Wheaties or something. I don't know. My frosted mini weeds. And yeah, we destroyed his parachute pants. Now he's going to the abyss of the floor. <laughs> Anywho, that's the end of part two. We'll be coming to an epic conclusion in part three. So, I'll see you then. And au revoir, viewers. Seriously, leave. Goodbye.